1951 college football season. The 1951 college football season finished with seven unbeaten major college teams, of which five were unbeaten and untied. Ultimately, the Tennessee Volunteers were voted the best team by the Associated Press, followed by the Michigan State Spartans, with the Vols having a plurality of first place votes 139 to 104. Tennessee lost in the Sugar Bowl to the equally undefeated and untied no three Maryland Terrapins, but the postseason games were not taken into account by the major polls. Tennessee, Michigan State, and Illinois all claimed national championships for 1951. During the 20th century, the NCAA had no player for the college football teams that would later be described as division layer. The NCAA did recognise a national champion based upon the final results of wire service AP and UPA polls. The extent of that recognition came in the form of acknowledgement in the annual NCAA football guide of the unofficial national champions. The AP poll in 1951 consisted of the votes of as many as 307 sports writers. Though not all writers voted in every poll, each would give their opinion of the 10 best teams. Under a point system of 10 points for first place, 9 for second, etc., the overall ranking was determined. Although the rankings were based on the collective opinion of the representative sports writers, the teams have remained unbeaten and untied were generally ranked higher than those that had not. A defeat, even against a strong opponent, tended to cause a team to drop in the rankings, and a team with two or more defeats was unlikely to remain in the top 20 generally. The top teams played on New Year's Day in the four major postseason bowl games, the Rose Bowl near Los Angeles or Pasadena, the Sugar Bowl New Orleans, the Orange Bowl Miami, and the Cotton Bowl Dallas. Conference changes. Three conferences began play during the 1951 season. Central Church College Conference active through the 1957 season. Indiana Collegiate Conference active through the 1977 season. Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference and active NA slash and Co Division Roman II Conference. Membership changes. School 1950 Conference 1951 Conference CCNY Beavers Independent Drop Program High Point Panthers Independent Drop Program Houston Cougars Golf Course Missouri Valley Kent State Golden Flashes Independent Macy Millican Buffalo Smoky Mountain Conference Slash Volunteer State Athletic Conference Drop Program Montana Grizzlies Independent Skyline Mountain States New Mexico Lobos Boulder Skyline Mountain States Niagara Purple Eagles Western New York Little 3 Drop Program September in the preseason poll released on September 24, 1951 Tennessee and Michigan State were ranked first and second, with Tennessee having 60 of the 115 first place votes. MSU had opened its season on the 22nd with a 6-0 win over Oregon State. They were followed by No. 3 Ohio State, defending champion No. 4 Oklahoma, and No. 5 California which had won its opener against Santa Clara, 34-0. As the regular season progressed, a new poll would be issued on the Monday following the weekend's games. On September 14, the Central Missouri Jules played the Southwestern Mount Builders in the rejected touchdown game where Southwestern's head coach Harold Hunt rejected a touchdown awarded by officials because his player stepped out of bounds. On September 29, no. 1 Tennessee beat Mississippi State 14-0. No. 2 Michigan State won at no. 17 Michigan 25-0 to take the top spot from the Vols. No. 3 Ohio State beat visiting SMU 7-0 in a win not deemed good enough to stay in the top 5. No. 4 Oklahoma beat William and Mary 14 7. No. 5 California won in Philadelphia against No. 19 Penn 35 0 and rose to second in the next poll. The game was broadcast in New York in a test for color television No. 14 Notre Dame, which had beaten Indiana 48 6, rose to fifth. The poll No. 1 Michigan State, No. 2 California, No. 3 Tennessee, No. 4 Oklahoma, and No. 5 Notre Dame. October. October 6, no, 1 Michigan State, 1 at no, 7 Ohio State, 24-20. No, 2 California beat Minnesota, 55-14. No, 3 Tennessee beat, no, 16 Duke, 26-0. No, 4 Oklahoma lost at no, 10 Texas at an M, 14-7 and fell out of the top 5. No, 5 Notre Dame had beaten Mercy College of Detroit, 46, the night before. The next poll, no, 1 Michigan State, no, 2 California, no, 3 Tennessee, no, 4 Texas at NM, and no, 5 Notre Dame. October 13, no, 1 Michigan State had trouble in defeating Marquette 2014. No, 2 California beat Washington State 42-35 and took over the top spot from the Spartans in the next poll. No, 3 Tennessee beat the University of Chattanooga 42-13. No, 4 Texas at NM beat Trinity College 53-14 and fell from the top 5. No, 5 Notre Dame lost to visiting SMU 27-20. Taking the places of the Aggies and the Irish were No. 6 Texas which had beaten No. 11 Oklahoma and Dallas, 9-7 and No. 8 Georgia Tech which had beaten LSU 25-7. The next poll, No. 1 California, 
no, two Tennessee, no, three Michigan State, no, four Texas, and no, five Georgia Tech. October 20, Los Angeles, no, one California, and no, 11 USC, both unbeaten enough for 0 0, faced off, and the Golden Bears lost the game along with the top spot in the poll, 21 14. Earlier, in Birmingham, no, two Tennessee defeated Alabama, 27 13. No, three Michigan State won at Penn State, 32 21. No, four Texas loss at Arkansas, 16 14. No, five Georgia Tech defeated Auburn 27-7. Appearing in the top five were no, eight Illinois which had a 27-20 win over no, 20 Washington and no, seven Maryland which had beaten North Carolina 14-7. The next poll, no, one Tennessee, no, two Michigan State, no, three Georgia Tech, no, four Illinois and no, five Maryland. Another significant game on this date, though for a far different reason, was the Drake Oklahoma and M matchup. Then unbeaten Drake was led by quarterback Johnny Bright, who was leading the nation in total offence at the time and had been touted as a Heisman Trophy candidate. Two years earlier, he had been the first black player to appear in a game at an end's home field without incident. The same could not be said about this game. Bright was forced to leave the game in the first quarter after suffering three concussions and a broken jaw as the result of a racially motivated attack by White at an M player Wilbank Smith and at an M ultimately 127-14. The attack was immortalised in a photo sequence in the Des Moines Register that won the photographer's appeal at surprise. It also had an enduring legacy on the sport. By the end of the school year, Drake and Bradley withdrew from the Missouri Valley Conference in protest over both the attack and the failure of either the conference or Oklahoma and M to discipline Smith. Bradley would return to the MVC for non-football sports in 1955, with Drake doing the same a year later, but Bradley never returned for football dropping the sport in 1970 and Drake did not return to MVC football until 1971. The attack led to new and core rules regarding illegal blocking and mandating the use of helmets with face guards. October 27 No. 1 Tennessee beat Tennessee Tech 68-0. No. 2 Michigan State beat Visiting Pitt 53-26. No. 3 Georgia Tech won narrowly at Vanderbilt 8-7. No. 4 Illinois won at Indiana 21-0. And beaten 4-0-0 and no. 5 Maryland visited once beaten 4-1-0 LSU and won convincingly 27-0. With the top five teams staying unbeaten, the poll changed only slightly at no, 1 Tennessee, no, 2 Michigan State, no, 3 Illinois, no, 4 Maryland, and no, 5 Georgia Tech. November. November 3, no, 1 Tennessee, 1 at North Carolina, 27-0 for its fourth shutout. In six games, the Vols had outscored their opponents, 207-14. No, 2 Michigan State was idle and dropped to fifth in the next poll. No, 3 Illinois beat, no, 15 Michigan, 7-0. No, 4 Maryland shut out Missouri 35-0. No, 5 Georgia Tech was tied by Duke 14-14. No, 6 Princeton, which rose to 5-0-0 after a 12-0 win over Brown and has not lost a game in more than two years, gave an Ivy League addition to the top five. The next poll. No, 1 Tennessee. No, 2 Illinois. No, 3 Maryland. No, 4 Princeton. And no, 5 Michigan State. November 10, no, 1 Tennessee beat Washington and Lee 60-14. No, 2 Illinois beat Iowa 40-13. In Baltimore, no, 3 Maryland beat Navy 40-21. No, 4 Princeton won at Harvard 54-13 but left the top 5. No, 5 Michigan State 6-0-0 hosted no, 11 Notre Dame 5-1-0, shut out the Irish 35-0 and returned to the no, 1 spot in the pool. In Los Angeles, 2 unbeaten and untied 7-0-0 powers faced off as no, 6 URC and no, 7 Stanford met. The Stanford Indians beat the Trojans 27-20. The next poll, no, 1 Michigan State, no, 2 Tennessee, no, 3 Illinois, no, 4 Stanford, and no, 5 Maryland. November 17, no, 1 Michigan State, 1 at Indiana, 30-26. No, 2 Tennessee, 1 at Mississippi, 46-21. No, 3 Illinois got a blemish on its record with a 0-0 tie at Ohio State. No, 4 Stanford beat Oregon State, 35-14. No, 5 Maryland overwhelmed NC State 53-0. No, 6 Princeton, which had shut out Yale 27-0, came back to the top 5. The next poll, no, 1 Tennessee, no, 2 Michigan State, no, 3 Stanford, no, 4 Maryland, and no, 5 Princeton. November 24, no, 1 Tennessee beat, no, 9 Kentucky 28-0. No, 2 Michigan State beat Colorado 45-7 to finish its season at 9-0-0. No, 3 Stanford suffered its first defeat, falling to Nor, 19 California, 27. No, 4 Maryland stayed unbeaten, defeating West Virginia, 54-7. No, 5 Princeton closed its season with a 13-0 win over Dartmouth. No, 6 Illinois, which won at Northwestern, 3-0, returned to the top 5. 
the penultimate poll, no, one Tennessee, no, two Michigan State, no, three Maryland, no, four Illinois, and no, five Princeton. On December 1, no, one Tennessee closed its season unbeaten with a 35-27 win over Vanderbilt. No, six Georgia Tech, the only other highly ranked team which had not finished its season, defeated Georgia 48-6. This result moved the Yellow Jackets up a spot in the final poll, no, 1 Tennessee, no, 2 Michigan State, no, 3 Maryland, no, 4 Illinois, no, 5 Georgia Tech, and no, 6 Princeton, with all 6 teams being undefeated although Illinois and Georgia Tech both had ties on their record. The nation's 7th undefeated team was the no, 14 University of San Francisco Dons, who closed their season and their football program with a perfect record of 9 wins, 0 losses and 0 ties. After their November 24 game against in-state Jesuit rival Loyola University at 22 win, USF stopped playing football. Bowl games. All seven games played were on Tuesday, January 1, 1952. Bowl game winning team losing team Cotton Bowl no, 15 Kentucky 20 Sugar Bowl no, 3 Maryland 28 Rose Bowl no, 4 Illinois 40 Orange Bowl no, 5 Georgia Tech 17 Gator Bowl Miami FL 14 Sun Bowl Texas Tech 25 Tangerine Bowl Stetson 35 Bowman L Michigan State 93 11 Bob Ward L Maryland 92